everybody. I am at home with Bishop Rain. Bishop today is going to help us out. Um, he is going to show us a little bit of information, talk to us about yo-yos themselves. And then he's also going to demonstrate two tricks that those of you who would like to either begin participating in a base yo-yo class or used to participate in the base yo-yo class could um, have some tricks to practice at home and we'll keep checking back in. All right, take it away, Bishop. Okay, so first, we there's two types of yo-yos. One is a responsive yo-yo and the other one is unresponsive. So what a responsive does, so it's not really that much of a difference. Just when you throw it down, inst like you can just flick it up and it'll come right back to your hand. Well, as an unresponsive <coughs> yo-yo, like this one, instead of, so that one you could you can just pull up normally. Well, this one, you can't, it won't pull up. So you have to bind it. It's, yeah, and you just pull the yo-yo up, like with putting the string over it and then tugging it back up. Awesome. So that's the first part. And then, can I show the tricks now? Yeah, so why don't you talk about the levels at A okay. to Z, so there are who is not our sponsor, by the way, but we just, they are the local resource for all things yo-yo. And um, you can pass tricks to be a part of their yo-yo team. And they separate the tricks by levels. Correct, Bishop? Yes. So level so there, one, uh, go for uh, it. So there's three levels until you make it to the team. And then <coughs> there's two more levels. And every level, the tricks get harder and harder. So I'll show you a level one trick right now. So this um, would be a good place to start, right? I'm only going to show the three levels. Up to level three, not four and five, because I'm not there yet. But so, first one is just the elevator, and it's a it's really simple trick. And also, I need you to dog. explain what you're doing. Pick so one I'm, trick and explain it. What I'm doing is so instead of doing the bind thing where you go over, you go the opposite way, and then this finger up here, you just slowly raise it. Are you pulling and, no, down I'm, on the uh, yeah, string? Yeah, I mean pulling down. And so it'll just slowly go up when you do it. Like this. So it looks like it's moving up an elevator. Yeah. And yeah, also walk the dog. You just throw it down and then just let it do its thing. And then pick it up and pull it back up. So that's a level one trick. Those are level one tricks. So walk the dog and elevator. Two level one tricks. Yes. Yeah. Level two tricks are like... So... Double, yeah, I'll show you this one. It's where, so, it's called double or nothing. It's where you throw it around your finger once. You could do, you throw it again, uh, around your other finger. You catch it with this one, and then it has to land on this string. So, like that. That's slow motion. But this is the real version. And, yeah. And also, another good one is, wait, I have to take off the coat for this one, is... I forget what it's called, but it's where you throw it on the side. That's wrong. You throw it on the side and then wrap it around your arm. So like this. But then when it's wrapping around, it catches on your... Eh, I can't do it. It catches on the string like that. I'll show you it in like... This is, seems that. like level three. No, it's level one, actually. That's level one? Catching no, it on... level two, level two. It's where you wrap it around your... So just, it's wrapping it around your arm. Just when you it pops up, you catch it on your wrist. That's one of the harder level two tricks. And then for level three, I have one called leg wrap trap and one called plastic whip. Plastic whip is my favorite at, like trick in level three. So it's where you throw it down, you grab your thumb, you put it over, not under, and then you pop it up this goes around and catches into the yo-yo. I'll show you it. You go like this and then catch it around it. And then you pop it back like that. And then leg wrap trap is where you... This is probably the hardest one, I know. It's where you swing it around and you go through the leg. And then you have to catch a trapeze on the back. I'll try and do it, but it's pretty hard.
No, that's a bad joke. Okay. I'll try and do it with this one. Yes, I did it. Just I couldn't catch it. But yeah, that's probably the hardest trick I know. Awesome. Thanks, kiddo. So um, we're hoping folks will try some of those tricks. Hopefully there was enough demonstration there to see oh, a level one or level two trick. Let's save some for next week. Okay. We'll see you next week.